Well, only on six this morning, two men caught stealing from a Southeast Portland restaurant jukebox. Now, the owner is hoping that you might be able to help, tra help track down the suspects. It happened at the Tanker Bar on Southeast Hawthorne just past 11 o'clock Saturday night. Coin Local 6 reporter Brent Weisberg joining us live. And Brent, apparently these crimes are happening a little bit more often than we all think. Yeah, that according to this business owner, he says after his business was hit, the same two suspects went basically across the road and hit another business in southeast Portland over the weekend. Now he is hoping surveillance picture will help you help police identify a suspect. It is certainly frustrating for these businesses that have been hit. This type of crime, it actually has a name given to it by some of the victims. It is called bumping. Basically, a thief's way of breaking into a video game or a jukebox. It happened inside Tanker Bar along Southeast Hawthorne over the weekend. The owner says that video captures the men trying to unhinge the lock and then bumping it until it breaks loose. They didn't steal money right away. Instead, the two suspects decided they were going to case the bar. Then, about 20 minutes later, they came back to finish that job, taking a handful of money. It's not something that's like an amateur thing that can be done. It's, you've got to have a little bit of background to do it. So you have to know, you have to have some locksmith experience and maybe some vending world experience. And those, you know, with those tied together and a little bit of safe cracking, a little bit of key, knowing key know-how, stuff like that, there, there are ways to do it. The one thing the suspects certainly did not count on was the surveillance video inside the bar that caught them. The bar's owner says one of the suspects even walks up and looks directly into the camera. If you happen to recognize the two suspects, you are asked to call Portland police. We're going to have their pictures of the two suspects posted to our website at coinlocal6.com later today. Reporting for you live this morning, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin Local 6. Okay, Brent, thank you very much. We'll